Although it's well known that GhostBSD is, as of the latest release, based upon FreeBSD 13 stable, what is perhaps lesser known is that GhostBSD doesn't use the standard FreeBSD RC in its system way of handling services. It forgoes the FreeBSD way and instead opts for OpenRC, a dependency based in its system used by some Linux distributions such as Gentoo, Alpine Linux and Artix. And because FreeBSD and GhostBSD differ in their init system, how they handle their services will differ as well. And in this video, we'll show you a quick overview of the key differences. In FreeBSD, the scripts listed in forward slash etsy forward slash rc.d provide services that can be controlled using the service command with start, stop, restart and status as optional appendices. There are two places for the system configuration information relating to services. The default system settings are in the forward slash etsy forward slash defaults forward slash rc.conf and the overriding forward slash etsy forward slash rc.conf where any entries or changes here override the entries in the default location and this should be the one that you change not the default one you can toggle specific services on and off by adding the desired service to the rc.conf file where adding say for instance cups underscore enable will allow you to control the cups d service like this If the cupsd entry isn't in the rc.com file, then the service can still be activated or stopped, but you must use the one prefix to the commands. So that instead of service start or stop or restart, you would use service cupsd one start, one stop, one restart. If you are not sure if the service you want is in the rc.com file, then you can check using service cups d rc var. Once the service has been placed into the rc.com file and has hopefully been started using service. So now that we have the cups d running, let's check it with service cups d status. Upgrading the FreeBSD system doesn't overwrite any entries in the rc.com file, so you won't have to reapply any or all changes, but it's perhaps prudent to make a backup. And because it's just a text file, that is as simple as putting it onto a USB stick or whatever you want to put it on. As we mentioned earlier, GhostBSD uses a different init system to that of FreeBSD, and that is OpenRC. Though many of the config files and service helpers are found in the same place, many are different enough to cause confusion. One such command that is exclusive to GhostBSD using OpenRC is the rc underscore parallel, which is found in the familiar rc.conf. The rc underscore parallel will attempt to load and start services in a non-linear way, something that FreeBSD does not do. But it does have its problems and is currently off by default. Like FreeBSD, GhostBSD uses the rc.conf to make alterations to services that overrides the system default. But the way that you start and stop a service is different. SysRC will add a text string to the rc.conf file as it does on FreeBSD. But how you manipulate the services is slightly different. The rc-service will locate and run OpenRC services. rc-status will show you which services are running and rc-update is needed to add or delete services. Comparing the rc service on GhostBSD to service on FreeBSD, you can see, if I just bring up the comparable picture, it's only small, but I think uh, it should serve its purpose. You can see that there are far more options available on the RC service on GhostBSD than on FreeBSD. FreeBSD there is one, two, three, there are six options, one of them is verbose. On the GhostBSD, I think there are about 11 options. Like FreeBSD, on in GhostBSD you can use the sysrc to alter the rc.com file without the risk of any grammatical errors. So this will do it for you. So that, that's, that's the same, it'll have the same function. But to command those services that you may put in the rc.conf using sysrc, well, in GhostBSD here, 
if you put RC hyphen service. And in case of cups D, we we'll put cups D then start. It runs the same. If we then, we can then stop it as usual in the RC hyphen service cups D stop. Then if we start it again, we can then also restart. So it looks the same and basically has the same functionality. It's just the, um, it's just the syntax is different. There's an interesting command in GhostBSD. You can put RC hyphen status and it will give you a representation of all currently running services. And to see what's available um, in terms of switches for the RC status command, you just type RC status double hyphen help and it will show you a small list. So if we run the show service list, it will show all the available services, even the ones that are not running. So the ones in green obviously are running, the ones in uh, red or um, have stopped or not started for any particular reason. I suppose that saves you from actually digging into the RCD directory to see what's available. That's very good. Next, we will try RC status U, and this will show all the services not assigned to any run level or unused services. If you want to see the ones that we've not used. Next, we'll try supervised services, show all the managed services. And then next, we will show all the manually started services. We'll have a look for any crashed services, which I don't think there will be any because I've not had any problems, but we'll have a look anyway. So I can see, yeah, there's no crash services, which I didn't think there would be. The next command we can use related to OpenRC is RC update, which will allow you to add or delete services, either to start at boot or to start as default. I'm not going to change anything because, well, that's probably inviting trouble. Now, this is only a quick overview video, really. I've not gone into too much depth. Um, tinkering with the services is not something which I usually do. I, uh, I set my services that I want via the rc.conf and then I just leave it because uh, it will be easy to <laughs> change something and then uh, you lost your system if something doesn't start up properly. But... I have to say, I, I mean, I am used to the FreeBSD way of doing things and the, the options for FreeBSD seem limited, but they're very simply implemented and you really can't go wrong. But I must admit, having looked at OpenRC, it's, it's not something that I've done before. Um, OpenRC seems very, well, it seems very organized and it seems more capable. Everything from listing the services which are running or not running and, and listing them in a in a formatted manner and in color coded, very nice. If you want to see what's happening on the system of why something's not working, then uh, OpenRC provides the tools for you to try and um, sort that out. And that, that's quite impressive. Now this isn't a comparison really, to see which is best. Um, each has their merits and as they say, each to their own. That's how it should be. You know, you find your own path independent of what other people may want. And if it works for you, then brilliant. OpenRC is available for FreeBSD if you wish to install it. I think I've done a video where I, oh no, that was using Run It Faster. Well, yeah, these are available anyway for OpenRC, um, for FreeBSD. How you install it, well, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a video on that in future. Um, but it's there if you want to do it. I, I think that's the great thing about it. It's there if you want to do it. FreeBSD gives you uh, the choice. GhostBSD has made that choice for you, and that's fine. It works perfectly well for uh, GhostBSD. GhostBSD is a very solid and stable system. It's fantastic on the desktop, and that's the whole point. OpenRC allows it to run without hiccup, but if you do need to use the tools, they're there. But anyway, yeah, this was only a, a cursory video. I hope uh, you learned something. I certainly did. I learned something about OpenRC, something which I didn't bother uh, looking into before. So yes, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Well done if you've made it to the end of the video, and if you've found it useful in any way, then please give it a thumbs up, and if you want to make sure you don't miss future videos, then please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. This helps the channel grow so that I can keep on making content that helps the FreeBSD community grow as well.